Hey guys, Andrea. I'm like, I know I've been missing for like quite a while now. So, what's going on? Um, my family are about to come from another state to come visit me. So, I haven't had any time to make any videos. Today is Saturday, December 23rd, 22nd. I think 22nd, yeah. But anyways, it's Saturday. So yeah, guys, this is going to be a review on the By Living Proof Straight Styling Cream. And it looks like this. I talked about this a while ago. I just have this little pot because I got in my little swap with Sheer Beauty 13. But yeah, as you can see right there, the frizz word is scratch which is a plus as you can see it's like so 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 little and it's so so cute this is a cream it's white it, it like it almost doesn't have a smell really it's not a great smell it's just every time like i pump it in my hand and then i put it on my hair the smell disappears well it better have a good smell or it better not smell at all right so it's like this it's very very creamy and very very more to the watery side than to the thickness of the product and yeah it really doesn't have no smell after you put it in and in the bottle it just it doesn't have a pleasant crazy smell but it's all right i guess this is not going to be a tutorial how about how i strain my hair i already have a detailed one and a all over one down below two separate videos and i already have all my products that i use on when my hair is straight on the video down below a little quick thing I strain my hair now before it was once every two months now it's gonna be once every three months so I can balance it in the whole year so it'll be perfect and divided so yeah that's how often if I do it's gonna be a review on this and by the way before I have to inc incorporate it so you guys can understand before I used to use the ion straining solutions for thick curly hair before on my hair damp before I strain my hair and the silk elements heat protection spray I mix this together. I don't put the same amount because I have to like mix them in a way that's not too much for my hair together. So it has to do with how much hair you have. And I have quite a lot. But yeah, this is what I used to use uh, together. And I've always been using this for like, I don't know, years now. <laughs> but as long as I can remember. This is a spray. Uh, and this is a cream. And this is a cream. So I replaced this one. And I mixed this and a little bit of this. So I apply, before I do my hair, I always deep treat, like, I put a deep treatment on my hair the day before. It has to be early in the morning, so when I go off to doing whatever, my hair is, like, out and about and drying. So I put it on my hair, the treatment I'm doing, I just um, detangle my hair with my, my, with my hands while it's dry. And then I put all over my hair, like, soak my hair in it. This time I did olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and coconut oil. So I mix that up. Put it on my hair, and then I got in the shower, rinsed it out, conditioned my hair, and detangled it. Why did I do that? I always, always detangle my hair before I wash. It just gives me a cleaner wash, and it gets everywhere. Your hair doesn't get really tangled up in the roots and stuff like that. I like to detangle my hair before I wash. So right after that, I wash my hair with the gentle cleansing shampoo. And then right after that, I detangle again with the conditioner, and then I deep condition it with a, like those two to three minutes conditioners in the shower I mean conditioners so and then I rinse it with cold water to keep that shine in the hair to seal the cuticle and yeah that's it I get out of the shower get the blow dryer I put on cool settings no heat yet cool settings I try to dry the like the most as I can out of my hair and once it's kind of a little too dry because I have a lot of hair and it's very very thick so it takes a long time to dry I use this all over my hair and then I spray the ends and the outer I didn't go in it, but I just spray the outer and the ends with this. I passed a white to comb through it and like a little bit so my curls could be brushed out and poofy and like this big. And then I put my hair in a bun as good as I can. I go off to anywhere. When I come back, my hair's not completely dry, but it's going. So I go to bed like at night. I just put in a bun, I wrap my hair, and I go to bed. And I do that so the whatever's in my hair, whatever protectant, it absorbs. I love water-based heat protectant stuff and cream-based. I don't like serums um, because I feel like every time I use them before I put any heat, it fries my hair. That's why I don't like that. So I go to bed it, it, to, so the product can absorb it. And then I wake up in the morning and... If I'm doing that morning, well, that's when I'm straightening. Maybe later on, if it's still wet, I still go a little bit more with some cool air. 
and then I blow dry twice on each strand, like a quick blow dry, and then it's really, really quick. It's nothing technical or anything like that. And then I use my in-styler twice, so it can be four times. Four blow dries, four in-stylers, and I go little sections by little sections. Uh, why do I do two blow dries, two in-stylers? The blow dry kind of help my hair relax a little bit before the in-style takes place. And the reason why I do that, because I don't want to go four times with the in-styler, because the in-style is stronger than the blow-dryer. So I just want to do twice with the blow-dryer and twice with the in-styler to balance it out. And by the way, I just bought my new in-styler, so this time I got my good results. I've been with my old in-styler for three years now, and I just bought a new one. And of course, yes, it's still that range, that price range of $100. And yes, it's worth it. Like, I love this thing so much, and now that I know how to use it, like before when I bought my old one, at first, it took me literally six months to actually know how to use it. But yeah. So yeah, guys, this is what I do. And by the way, it came out perfect. Like, my hair is so, so soft right now. I don't even know how to explain. It's so, so smooth. And yes, I do think it's because of this, even though I mixed it with other products. The reason why I think it's because of this, because my hair felt extra soft. I'm... I have good, like, straining, good straight results, I always do, but uh, I feel the difference. Even if you have good ones, you always feel, like, the difference when something is better. So, yes, I do recommend I am going to buy another one when this is over. I know this is, like, very, very small, but I think it's going to last me two more blow dries, yes, which is going to be in three months and then another three months. So, yeah, this made my hair so extra soft and like i said i always have good results but this is like like it's the 10 out of 10 for my liking hey guys so this is like three weeks later after like three weeks from the day i straightened my hair and i've never gone that long i went back to the store to actually check for the price of the normal size one and it was 33 dollars and guys it's totally worth it so like i said three weeks and my hair still looks very very good and soft it has not been trying to go back to its natural curly form whatsoever i leave my hair straight for most of the time i leave it for a week to two weeks and this time this is the third week i've never let it go for third for the third week because sometimes it kind of gets too oily to go one more week. Sometimes it kind of gets like in the bottom right here, starts to curl up. And yeah, but this time nothing happened. That's why I can see the product did a lot of difference. So yeah, uh, like I said, the only difference right now is because it's parted in the middle instead of the sides. And it's not straight for the fact that I don't wrap my hair when I go to bed. I do, I have like this cut up scarf, satin scarf that I wrap only in the front and the rest is just put in a ponytail so that's why it's kind of wavy and doing whatever it wants but yeah um yeah three weeks this is like lasting for a long time now and yes i leave my hair straight this time three weeks i'm probably gonna wet this as soon as possible and i am gonna of course it's three months no heat again and then that's how i do it that's how i get my hair to be long by diminishing anything that would damage my hair so yeah guys, it's totally worth it for $33, even though it's like $33, like a lot of money for, uh, I think it's the size product. Even though it's like $33, which is kind of expensive for like a hair product, it's totally worth it. Especially if you don't, you're not always straightening your hair. I did not use it again to like do anything to my hair. I just used it on that time the way I used it, of course, like I explained. And that's really about it. And yeah, I'm still really, really liking it. And my hair feels so, so much softer than when I was using the other products together. And this is my review on the product. I hope you guys go try it out. Like I said, get the sample one. I still have some left for another straightening day. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Bye!